Hi and welcome to the SketchUp tutorial by myself, Ansar Christos XIX from imview.com and uh, today we are going to be covering how to install some useful plugins for developing in SketchUp um, and these plugins include uh, sitting nodes, uh, standing nodes, furniture nodes etc. and these become very useful when you're making a uh, furniture mesh and uh, room meshes later in, the, in your developing career here so let's go and we'll start off by going into the Camelot Resource Center over here. Um, we should be at uh, englishtiger.co.uk to start off with. And then we go to the uh, Resource Center. Um, we scroll down the list to find uh, the plugins. So here we go at the, bottom of the, at the very bottom of the page here. We have uh, SketchUp uh, plugins and files. Let's just click on that and you get these uh, the top four files is what you want to download I've already downloaded them and um, they're all downloaded in zip format so uh, I'm just going to go and uh, open up the first one here and the readme file says you need to extract it and then we're going to be co copying and pasting it into a folder into our plugins folder I'm using a SketchUp um, 2013 I believe it is and uh, you guys might be using SketchUp 7 or 8 or something like that. If so, just open up that README file. It'll tell you where the files are located. Sorry, the folders are located where you need to copy the files into. So I'm just going to close this. And I'm just going to start off by uh, extracting uh, all these files. I'm just going to go and extract it into the default locator into the same uh, root as it was uh, there before. Let's go and close that one. That one's now extracted. So there we go. We've got the Merlin installer folder there. Just going to extract the same one. The, the next one, I should say. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same description, just put it in the same uh, default location. So just uh, bear with me a second. Just going to extract all four of these uh, files here so that we can get all the content that we need. Okay, so you can also just right click and extract to. Depending on if you're using a WinZip or WinRAR, you, the options may be different, but the principle is the same. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make a new folder here quickly. Not even going to name it. Just going to copy and paste all the content out of here. I'm going to copy out the, f the first uh, folder, the, the Merlon installers, copy that out. I'm going to paste it into this uh, new folder over here. Same with the content in the next folder, the Merlon startup. I'm going to copy all the content. Paste it in. Okay. Uh, we could just do that for all these folders. Once again, this has got an empty toolkit so a folder which we had uh, in the previous one. Sort of make it's just going to merge with the folder when we do when we paste it in. So it gives you the option, do you want to merge it? Yes. And then we just go into the Toolkit Pro. Copy these. 
and let's place it into the folder. It's very repetitive, but uh, and we want to merge it. Okay. And we also want to uh, merge this one. Well, we just do this for all of them. I'm just going to take the box at the bottom. It's just out of your range of sight there, sorry. Okay, so uh, let's just open this up. We end up with these uh, files. Don't really need these. So we can just delete them. So we've got these uh, five files over here now. Including the folder. So we're just going to copy and paste all of these. Including the folder. To the plugins uh, directory. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Your plugins directory might be a bit. Might be located in a different location. But I'm just going to go into C. And I uh, believe it's program files x86. And I scroll down. And I'm using SketchUp. Uh, 2013 your sketchup might be located in a folder called uh, google but if it's not then it's just down over here and it's in a separate folder called sketchup so i'm just opening up here and i'm going to go into my plugins folder and i'm just going to paste it into the plugins folder it's going to give me a security warning i'm going to continue And that's it, that should be it's installed now. Okay, I've just opened up uh, SketchUp after installing the plugins, and uh, this is what happens you get these uh, little floating menus. Uh, we can dock them like this, just drag them up. I can't see that one very well, so I'm just going to move it again. give it its own little uh, position over here okay so once you've got your uh, your plugins uh, displayed the way that you want them okay that's pretty much as good as I'm going to get it um, let's just start using the plugins now first of all you'll notice that you have these little houses they represent a, each uh, position represents a view so that's the starting view that's the top view left front right back and so on so uh, you'll get the gist of it eventually um, now we want to go and start going to the plugins to see what's new um, you could use Either I prefer the the the, the uh, plugins toolkit pro, and here you have an options to add stuff in. So I'm going to just add in a uh, standing pose, and it tells me gives you a menu about where you want to put the standing pro the pose by default and stuff like that. I was going to accept the default, so we'll put it on the orange. And, and here's your standing pose. As you can see, it's just appeared in. You don't actually see the uh, the, st the actual model standing with it, but uh, it just gives you the uh, the positioning of the standing pro pose in the in relations to the environment. Um, it's in a group, so you don't, can't really mess it up when you move it or anything. But uh, you can just move it like that. It's really easy to use, so uh, it does it really well. They they put a lot of work and effort into it, so it's uh, really nice that they've done this for us. Um, Let's do the uh, let's put it in a mesh. So it's toolkit pro. I'm just going to go into the mesh matic. It's going to go and put it in a cylinder. Just to ask me uh, what size the radius should be, how tall it should be, how many segments. The more segments you add in, is uh, the more um, 
detailed the mesh is going to be and the more laggy it's going to be. So uh, the lower you put this, the less detailed it's going to be and the less laggy it's going to be. It's going to accept the defaults for now. And there you go, so it imports uh, a mesh that you can start working with, a cylinder mesh that you can start working with. Um, let's do something quickly. Uh, Yeah, let's just use the offset tool here. So let's just select part of the mesh. And now we just use this offset tool. You just start working with uh, your meshes like that just straight out the box and uh, and you can start just making unique shapes uh, these push to pull tools and stuff like that I'll cover that in another in another lesson uh, but for now that's just how you import uh, you use the the um, plugins to start importing mesh and change of views and uh, how to import post stands and stuff like that.